In fact, this is where the arrest was made, right where I'm standing in the parking lot of this auto zone in Plantation, Florida. Uh, Sayok had been tracked apparently for days by the FBI and they found him here, tracked him here, they got him outside, then they checked with the auto zone inside to see what kind of purchases he may have made. And that leads me to what I want to talk about now, which is some of what we know about the devices that were sent to those various uh, top former members of the Obama administration, as well as uh, former President Bill Clinton, of course, former President Barack Obama, and some current uh, very public Democrats. Some of those devices sent to several of the political figures included photographs of the targets with a red X marked over their faces. That's according to the criminal complaint that was filed against 56-year-old Cesar Sayoc today. The devices in the packages are nearly identical. We've mentioned this before, but the FBI actually confirmed they consist of a half foot long pieces of PVC, essentially plastic pipe, a small clock, digital clock, battery or batteries, wiring, and energetic material, according to the complaint. That energetic material, which may be black powder, is something that could be ignited to actually cause an explosion. Also part of it, it appears to be some kind of ground glass, a shrapnel, possibly metal as well. Five of those 13 packages were routed right through the U.S. Postal Service facility in Opelaka. Now, also, you know that Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz's name has been directly connected to this bomb plot because she says today she's grateful law enforcement for quickly addressing that suspect in connection with the packages. She says she's going to stay in direct contact with them. A package that was actually addressed to former Attorney General Eric Holder was sent to Wasserman Schultz's Florida office, albeit with some misspellings, including misspelling of the word Florida. The packages also contained a return address for the Congresswoman. She has talked about standing up to this kind of intimidation today and how she will always stand up, as will the people of Florida.